You spotted snakes with double tongue Thorny hedgehogs be not seen Newts and blind ones do no wrong Come not near a fairy queen Now the hungry lion roars And the wolf behows the moon Whilst the heavy ploughman snores All with weary task foredone now the wasted brands do glow, and the screech owl, screeching loud, puts the wretch that lies in woe in remembrance of a shroud. Now it is that time of night, that the graves, all gaping wide, each one let forth their sprite, the church way past to glide. And we fairies that do run by the triple Hecate's team in the presence of the sun, following darkness like a dream, now frolic. Not a mouse shall disturb this hallowed house, for I am sent with broom before. Sweep the dust behind the door. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here whilst these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. And as I am honest Puck, if you have unknown luck, now to escape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the Puck a liar call? So good night unto you all. So, good night unto you all. Give me your hands, if we be friends. And Robin shall restore amends. Else the puck a liar call. So, good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends. And Robin shall restore amends. What on earth do you go and do that for? I thought it was. You know it. Not on your life, Josephine McLean. Don't call me that, Tess. You know better than to call me by my real name. Okay. So, what are you doing here then, Joe? If not to put the frightness on me and wire me up the wrong way, as you've always done. <laughs> Damned if I know. I thought it was thee that summoned me, not other way round. Not on your Nelly. Whatever fool would I want to do a thing like that? Yeah, sure. Tess Summerfield, you always were a devious salt. Well, I guess it takes one to know one. Got a brew waiting. I ain't half parched. Be a darling and stick kettle on. Am I stopping you from going somewhere? No, not exactly. That's good then. I mean, I don't feel so guilty dropping in unannounced. Even if I were summoned. Well, I never summoned you, Joe. so think again. Well, someone must have. I ain't in a bit of just popping by for brew and chat. Busy girl, I am. You ought to know. Sorry, Joe. Then it was you that summoned me. Oh, you sly little devil. Whatever for, Tess? What could be so possibly wrong with my best ever protégé, eh? The girl that princes came to see. Even Olivier said, she's the people's actress. Adorable Tess. The girl that made art sing with joy or cry with sorrow. Very touching, Joe, but you know it weren't quite like that. Yeah, I guess there's a little embellishment. But the guys from the Black Prince often came to cheer you on. Our little Tess. I'm in need of a little help, Joe. Thought as much. What is it? Tell your Aunt Joe all about it. 
After all, I ain't going nowhere. Rain's forecast and I ain't shifting from here. Not for all tea in China. How much tea do you reckon there is in China? Honestly, no idea. Why? Shall I find out for you? You are up to something, Tess. I can tell by the way you're acting. Solved the problem. I ain't acting anymore. What do you mean? I haven't acted in ages. Well, why ever not? What was the last thing you did? Puck. But that was yonks ago. I read about it in the papers. Glowing reviews. Oh, precisely. So you called me to sort it out? Kind of. You're a lucky girl, Tess. It's been a bit quiet lately and I was toying with the idea of taking a break. Visit an old friend down Margate Way. Well, that's very generous of you, Joe. Oh, now where the heck have you gone? But it isn't as straightforward as you might imagine. Never is, love. Story of my life. You know I have a decent manicurist around here? Paul! Paul? A bloke? Or a women call Paul nowadays? Not to my knowledge, but sure, he's a bloke. Good, is he? That's okay, by it. Well, so mum reckons. Oh, how is your mum, by the way? Stop evading the question. Which is? Are you going to help me? Or not? An aspirate with a wonder you. Over hill, over dale, thorough a bush, thorough a briar. Over park, over pale, thorough a flood, thorough a fire. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's fear. And I serve the fairy queen to dew her orbs upon the green. The cowslips tall her pensioners be, and in their gold coat spots you see. Those be rubies, fairy favours, in those freckles live their savours. I must go seek some dewdrops here, and hang a pearl from every cowslip's ear. Farewell, thou lob of spirits, I'll be gone. Our queen and all our elves come here anon. Come now, a roundel and a fairy song, then for the third part of a minute hence, some to kill cankers in the musk rose buds, some wool with rare mice for their leaden wings to make my small elves coats, and some keep back the clamorous Shh. owl that nightly hoots and wanders at our quaint spirits. Sing me now asleep, then to your offices, and let me rest. You spotted snakes with double tongue, Thorny hedgehogs be not seen, Newts and blind ones do no wrong, Come not near our fairy queen. Go blimey! Weaving spiders, what are you trying to do, hence, you long show? legged spirits, hence. Go, 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 Beetles go, black go, approach go, not go, near, not Worm nor snail do no offence. I'll follow you. I'll lead you about around. Through bog, through bush, through brake, through briar. Sometime a horse I'll be. Sometime a hound, a hog, a headless bear. Sometime a fire. And neigh, and bark, and grunt, and roar, and burn. Like horse, hound, hog, bear, fire, at every turn. Else the pucker liar call. So good night unto you all. So good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore me. Listen, darling. We can make this as painless or as painful as you wish. I don't care. I just want my money back. You dig? I do, Mr H. I do, but I ain't got your money. I ain't worked in ages. I've got some lined up, but it'll be a while before I get paid. Ask for a sub. Steal the take-ins. I don't care how you get it, love. I just want my dough back. 
Are you listening back there? I am. I am. That's a spirit. I don't want to have to send Tweedledum and Tweedledee back there after you again. I ain't sure they could stomach another dose of Shakespeare. Ain't their stuff. Nor is it mine. So let's be a good girl and do the honest thing. Come on, Joe, where are you? The show starts soon. You've got some nerve asking me back here with all this going off. There you are. I thought you'd given up on me for good. Not quite. But you've got some explaining to do. I have. I thought you were here to help. Instead, you take off at the slightest whim. No whim, my dear. Just sheer exuberance on the part of a certain moneylender. Oh, you ain't fallen foul, Mr. H again, have you? I might. Dear God, you don't learn, do you? A bit like you and your lines. It happens again, Joe. Last night, they're gonna fire me. I'm sure of it if it happens again. Oh, you've gotta help me out, please, Joe. I promise. I'll do whatever I can to help. Oh, cheers. <laughs> but how? Have I ever let you down? Uh, yeah, countless times, in fact. All right, don't rub it in. We have a performance tonight. Remember the good old days? A little gin. And you, word, word, perfect. Yeah, that was then. I can't very well go on stage reeking a gin. Or any alcohol, for that matter. Why not? It's not the dumb thing these days. Especially not for a teenager. What are you doing all along, Tess? And what on earth is that dreadful smell? The drains, Mr. Makepeace. They've been acting up for some time. Well, I just hope they can get them fixed before tonight's show. Dear God, it's, it's dreadful. That was a close call. You're going to get me into trouble. Not half as much as I'll be in if I don't get Mr. H's money back. Why do you always fall for these sharks? Oh, it ain't all roses out there, my dear. You ought to try it sometime. Rather than spending your life stuck in here. It's where I belong. If you continue to forget your lines. They'll get rid of you. And what will you do then? Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Because you're going to help me. Oh, please, Joe, just use your magic one more time. And then, I promise, I won't bother you again. What am I going to do with you, Tess? You are the best actor there is, and yet you can't remember your lines. Perhaps you ought to be looking elsewhere in life to make a living. Kind of goes against the grain, doesn't it? What does? Not knowing your lines. It's part of the job. Joe! You're quite an actress, Tess. Made a name for yourself, I see. How long now has it been? I rightly don't know, Mr. H. Well, shall I tell you? If you must. 180 years. Wow. Indeed, wow. Some stretch, eh? Guess so, Mr. H. Guys I know. Good guys. Don't even get that inside, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But that's not what this is about, is it, Tess? It's not, Mr. H. That's the spirit. Now you tell me where Joe's gone, and I'll forget this little meeting of ours ever took place. You want me to tell you where Joe is? <laughs> I do like a girl with a sense of humour. You didn't tell H, did you, Tess? You promised me you didn't split on me. You got a nerve coming here after all I had to endure with that horrid man and his two monkeys. Did H threaten you? could say that. But I ain't no squealer. 
Thanks. I knew I could rely on you, Tess. How much do you owe him, by the way? The last reckoning? I'd say... £70. No wonder he's mad keen on getting old here. He knows his limits. You managed to buy time from him, otherwise you'd be flying with angels like the others. I've got my reason. And don't we know the price you've had to pay for it? You've... Oh, is that dreadful pong in here, Tess? Well, it ain't me. Didn't say it was. Makepeace was belly aching about something or other earlier. Guess the drains are playing up again. Oh. Now look what you started. Now until the break of day, through this house each fairy stray, to the best bride bed oh, will we, Joe, where are you? which by us you said you'd be here. Be. And the issue I've got to show it to him. I've got to prove it to him that I've still got it in me. So shall Otherwise I'm out. Three I ain't trying to get his money's worth of us two by for the rock and roll. Who are you talking to? No one, just thinking aloud. Well, I hope it's your lines you've been thinking of. If you fail me, you are out on a limb. Worse yet, you will never work this side of the Thames again. Go on! What are you waiting for? And each several chamber blessed through this palace with sweet peace. If we shadows have offended. Think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here, whilst these visions did appear. And this weak and idle thief, no more yielding than a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. And as I am honest Puck, if you have unknown luck, now to escape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the Puck a liar call. So, good night unto you all. Give me your hands, if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. I did it, Joe. All by myself. Like you did, Tess. And without anyone else's help. You are an angel. Nah. Puck's no angel. She's a fairy. <laughs> of course she is, my dear. How silly of me to think she could be anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I am lucky having you as a friend, Joe. Even if you're not always there when I want you. I show you can't always trust in people. Will we always be friends, Joe? I mean, will we always be able to call upon each other if we're in a spot of bother? I mean, it don't take much to just pop in when the other's in a spot of bother. If you say so, Tess. <laughs>